Hello, and welcome back to a rum story. The last time you saw me, my quest to find the source of rum had taken me all the way to an actual rum smith who makes rum from scratch. I was fairly convinced that my quest to find the source of rum had come to its conclusion. But what was going to happen next? Nice to, see, to you again. see you again. Wow, look at this place. What do you think? It's remarkable. Are you going to introduce me to your friends? This is Ron. Ron. Ed. Nice Pleasure. to meet you, Ed. This is Sven. Hey, Sven. Nice I'm Ed. Nice I'm, uh, I'm on a quest to find the source of rum. Now, Adrian tells me you guys are the. I have a cocktail for you with rum. <laughs> wow, welcome to the club. Well, there Cheers. you go. All right. <laughs> a little Drifter's Reef for you. These are the guys that you want to talk to. Sven wrote the Book of Tiki which basically started the whole renaissance in the tiki, uh, the current day tiki movement. Wow, you literally wrote the book on rum? No, on tiki. On tiki, okay. Can you explain to me the difference? What, what's, what's tiki, this? Well, this is, this is rum and that's and a tiki. That is a tiki, <laughs> ah, I see. I'm a cameraman by prof profession and I'm into, I call myself a visual junkie. Nice. So I con I always need like a steady influx of new visual material. Uh -huh. And I had moved to California in the early 80s and, and discovered these, these photos of mid-century Americans, these really straight looking, you know, uh, suburban Americans mm -hmm. posing with these pagan idols. <laughs> yeah, totally, right? It just, you know, it just fascinated me. Yeah. It was such a weird juxtaposition. Yeah. And then, I was looking for more material and it was kind of hard to find. And I realized that this, this culture had completely disappeared. Tiki appeared, what would you say, Sven, somewhere in the 50s? Yeah, and really in the you know, mid 50s. Um, um, it was with the appreciation of the middle class of, of so called primitive art. Mm. And you know, they, they thought uh, they could, you know, it was cool to decorate their living rooms with that. And in parallel to that, the tiki icon, the tiki image, became sort of the, the ambassador for the island lifestyle. Right, right. And that's when, what I find interesting, this juxtaposition between mid-century modernism and antiki primitivism. Because they were both like the extreme opposites of the ah. end. And this kind of, you know, jet age, space age design of the 50s with the tail fin cars and, and A-frame buildings and stuff. You know, that was like, you know, the, the opposite of going back to the primitive into the, you know, the, the paradise lifestyle yeah. of the South Sea. And the rum part sort of, you know, elevated the whole experience and sort of made it possible to, for you to drift away. Mm. Yeah, I understand the escapism and the drifting away as well. <laughs> as we are drinking, three days have as we are drinking, a, drifting away. A, a drifting, drifting away. away. Drifting away. <laughs> a drifter's reef, that's the name of the spot. Drifter's reef, that's yes. rum's Thank special you. cocktail, right? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, this and understand these days why you'd want to escape and go into a place where there's no clocks and there's no pressure and you just hang out and you just drink rum. I understand all of that. What I don't understand is that you guys talked about a revival of tiki because I can't understand why that would ever die off. Because surely that's something everyone would love and want permanently. What, what went wrong? 